Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. How you doing? Facebook. We got Mahdi Ahmed here. I'm doing better, inshallah. You doing better, kid? Yes, sir. Mashallah. The past couple of weeks, man, we've been noticing some comments and people been posting their concerns. Uh, Eunice Ahmed gave you some good advice today. So basically, we want to um, wanna know, are you okay? I'm doing a lot better than doing, I did. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. Allah, who I wore. It's real smile too. So can you briefly... You know, without too many details, let the people know what's going on and where you at right now. Okay. Earlier this year, as you guys know, my mom passed away and I came back from, uh, I came back to LA from Texas. May Allah have mercy on And I wanted to change my life. So the first thing I, I did was trying to get involved in, in something that helped me change my life, being more responsible, being more, you know, uh, a productive in life in mm -hmm. general. That's I was good. still stressed out. I was still depressed. I was still, my mind was not there, you know, because before my mom died, I was out going, going here, going in, having fun, just being, you know, basically just a, a guy that likes life. But we understand. Ultimately, we understand. But ultimately, when I came back, I wanted to change my life, but I wasn't really thinking right. Okay. So I got involved with, you know, a person and it ended up being, you know, months later, a situation where I'm at right now. Okay. Uh, it led to my arrest. What? All charge. Yes, I was. I was in jail. For, Locked up for for about two days. Two days. All charges were dropped up because I was charged with a felony. So you're a thug. Fifty thousand. Yeah, I'm a thug. Fifty thousand dollar <laughs> bail. What? Then a day later, that was dropped from that to a misdemeanor, Ooh. and then um, about a couple hours later, I was transferred to you know county. Uh huh. And while I was in kind of, I was like in a holding uh, tent. Okay. And uh, they call out my name. Okay. And they said uh, Mark Diakme. No, they said my other name. Okay. My, my legal name. Mashallah. So they they uh, they called out my name. I said okay because I thought I was going to be arraigned. Okay. I'm going to see a judge. I'm going to say I'm not I'm not guilty. I'm innocent. You know whoop the whoop. But they said I want to see a wrist. Uh, okay. One of the uh, sheriffs said you know I want to see a wrist. I'm like okay here's my wrist. And the guy had a scissor. And and I had on a, a wristband, and they just cut it off. And I said, uh, what's next? Oh, so you was at that process where they call you out the holding tank yeah. and bring you into the room right when they about to release you. Yeah, so, but okay. I didn't know. I thought I was going to be arraigned. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to be arraigned. So I'm going to wait for the arraignment. I see a judge and whatnot. So they called out my name, and, like, and they said they want to see my, you know, my wrist. And they cut the wristband off my wrist. And, said, and, and I told them, what's next? Okay. And they said, go home. What? I said, what do you mean go home? Yeah, go home. Just pick up your property across the street. What time was it? It was like around in the afternoon, I think around. Maybe oh, they let you out in the daytime? Yeah, they let me in the daytime. Oh, that was, you was good on them. Yeah. They usually let you out like 3, 4 in the morning. No, but it was out in the daytime because, you know, they. I, all I had to do was go across the street and pick up my property. You know, it's easy. A lot like make, you, yeah, man. Yeah, alhamdulillah. It's easy to make friends in jail. I don't know. What so, was talking it's about. easy to make friends in jail? Believe it or not. It, what was it talk? like in the hooski, kid? What's up? What was it like in the pen? I mean jail. Jail. It was funny because <laughs> you were put in, okay, in, in a detention center is not like county because in in a county jail, in, at least in L.A., what blacks, was it like? blacks okay. Latinos, whites, Asians, they're all separated. Okay. Segregated. It's straight up like, and gangs. Like if you're wow. male, you, you can't be with the, you know, crib in the same hole and so on. So they, they, the whole process of separating by race it, it exists so you stay neutral and mind your business huh yeah i minded my business you That's know what's i up. just talk i just talk to people you know talk about what's going on spiritual talk gets you a lot of places wow so, Allah you know, Allah. and you know, if you st stay strong in your faith and you so, assertive you, you you good so look we're glad to have you back we got to see you out you know survive the experience so what was a learning lesson in this for you personally that you could share with us in our personal development you know god shows us signs Signs that God says in the Quran, we can't ignore. If okay. you ignore, there will be consequences. Wow. You know, and there are signs that, out of my sincere heart, quote unquote, and out of my my good intentions, you know, I made bad decisions. Okay. And stuff like that, and you know, but I never harmed, I never hurt, I never did anything against anybody in the right way. So I can't say I did a bad decision, but my heart was good, and but I hit or did this or. Made it, because again, I'm very like I'm laid back, right? You know, I'm people say I'm too laid back sometimes. I'm you had too your nice. Starbucks yet? What's up? You had your Starbucks yet? No, what do you mean, Starbucks? Starbucks, you like yeah, Starbucks? I, I, love, I love tea and coffee. I, okay, I take the chai, you know. Okay, you, have you had any yet? 
No, I don't. Uh, but we got to get you some, kid. I'm dead, I'm dead tired. We got to get just, you some. I didn't sleep all night, and I just went to in a hearing, and I got out of here, and I, I just ate with you some lunch. Thank you once again. Oh, man, you got to put that out there. It's yeah. all good. It's, I have to, actually, matter of fact, because, you know, I, nah. it's, it's props. But anyway, so basically when you, when and also I learned that despite the situation you're in, if you're with God, if you tell the truth, mm-hmm. God is going to be with you. If you persevere, if you're patient, God is going to be with you. Because if you lie, if you live a lifestyle that goes against God's rules, if you want to go ahead and live wild and say, I'm free, I just believe in God, okay, go ahead. You can think like that, and, and hopefully you think that you were created for no reason. So if you live and you die and that's it, if you think like that, you know, God okay. is not with you. But so it sounds like you learned a lot of accountability. Yeah. You learned a lot um, through perseverance. Yeah. And you seen, um, you see, are you witnessing a better path for yourself now? Inshallah. Okay. Because since, like I said, I got released from jail with all charges dropped because they knew that it was no evidence. Right. And then when I went to the hearing today, again, the judge heard one side of the story. Right. And heard my side of the story. Right. The judge did not believe the other side. And uh-huh. they talked about 70% of the time. Okay. I talked about 30. I, I barely talked, but, but the other person dug themselves Deeper. Deep because the judge knew that the person was lying. So, so wrapping this up, what's the one thing you want to tell the people out there that you learned through the trials of this situation? I, I learned, and I was mainly reminded that again, you have to have faith, okay, and you have to tell the truth. Iman, you know, you have to have yeah, iman, which is faith, and haq, which is truth. You have to be on the side of truth. If you think that you could play the system. And get what you want out of it, it won't happen. Because mm-hmm. ultimately, God is is the one that is going to serve justice. And wow. God is fair to everybody. Wow. And SubhanAllah. that's what I learned. And ultimately, this is a lesson I will apply in life. Now, okay. we're going on seven minutes, so you don't want to keep the people too long. I don't want to bore the people. But like I said, I want to thank everybody, everybody that gave dua or that prayed for me okay. throughout this whole ordeal in these past uh month uh these past months. are we gonna see something new from you i want you god willing inshallah you will see a lot more uh hopefully a tv show a reality show whatever but you know you're gonna see more stuff briefly briefly can you give a little detail of what that video you just did me- mean okay briefly uh, i did you see y'all he smiled off that one i done a short <sighs> uh, I, I i made a short film i wrote and directed it uh i decided to make it without any dialogue just the effects of the pictures speak volumes in and of itself so okay. i wanted to be basically a visual a representation of my feelings of what was going on and what was thinking okay and hopefully relay a message to you know people that so you that rose from between the concrete that got your victory now god willing inshallah mashallah mark d is always a pleasure this is umar hakeem from creativevoice.org signing off from this blog conversation all right